Hi again, John Stone, the DIY smart home guy. We just put a new water feature out in front of our house and today we're going to hook that into our smart home system. We're going to be using the same switch we use on the fountains in the back and that is this GE Outdoor Smart Switch. So if you're looking for one of these switches, you can just go right up to the link right here and I have some links over my website. You can go over to Amazon and pick one up. Uh, the main focus of this video, however, is going to be connecting in this smart switch to my Amazon Echo. As you know, I already have the fountain in the back. It's being controlled by a GE Outdoor Smart Switch. Uh, since I'm putting in a second one, I want all my fountains controlled by one group within the Amazon Echo. So the installation is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to unplug. I'm going to use the bottom one so it accommodates the grounding plug there. Open up the bottom. Plug in the new fountain and get that all plugged in. Now what we're going to have to do is get that synced into the wing hub and we'll be ready to go. So just like we did before, we're going to connect this into the wing hub. So first thing we're going to do is go over to our wink application and select your wink hub. As a reminder, on the GE Outdoor Smart Switch, the scan barcode feature is not supported at the time I'm recording this video. So now on the screen, scroll down until you find a lights option. Then you'll need to scroll down again and find the Z-Wave switch option. On the read manual screen, and by the way, you should always read the manufacturer's instructions and their manuals, but on the screen, select next. Make sure your hub has the blue ready light. Now on the screen with the light bulb, select next one more time. You're all set. Press the connect now button and wait a few seconds. Now that the wing hub is ready, we're just gonna push the button on the front a couple of times. And we should get the confirmation over in the Wink app that everything's ready to go and synced. After you're all connected, you're going to get a series of tutorial screens. Just go ahead and review those and walk through them real quick. At the end of that, you should see your new switch loaded into your Wink app. Uh, I suggest you go ahead and change the name of that now. In my case, I've named my fountain Pouring Base. So now that everything's connected into the Wink app, it's time to have the Echo recognize devices. Uh, as we mentioned in the video before, which you can find right here, uh, the way you're going to do this is to say, Alexa, discover devices. And then we wait. Starting discovery. And rerun discovery. Okay, so now that my devices are all discovered, uh, I've went into my Wink app, as you can see right here, and I've renamed my fountains. So I gave specific names to the one in the backyard and a different name to the one in the front yard. The reason I did this is I don't want the echo to confuse when I say fountain. If you give it a different name, if I say backyard fountain or front yard fountain, sometimes uh, what she'll say is, uh, I have many devices named fountain, can you describe which one? Okay, so now that we have the water feature up front, which we named Pouring Base, and the water feature in back, which we call Bird Bath, uh, both of those are now in the group inside the Echo, and it's just as simple as any other voice command you'd give. In the Echo app, from your menu, select Smart Home. You'll see your list of groups first. You're going to want to scroll down a little and find Create Group. Select this option. Because I have two features I want to control together, I named my group Fountains. Now select the items you want in your group. For me, this would be Pouring Vase and Bird Bath. Click Save, and you're all done. Alexa, turn on the fountain. Okay. So because we've put both of these devices together in a group, and we just simply call it Fountain, both of those are controlled under the same group. Now if I want to control them individually, I can do that as well by just saying, Alexa, turn on the bird bath. Okay. Alexa, turn on the pouring vase. Okay. Now that turned both of them on individually, and if I want to turn them both off as a group, Alexa, turn the fountain off. Okay. And now everything's off. So that's it, very simple. Uh, just wanted to check in with you and show you how we took that GE Outdoor Smart Switch. I added the second one in, uh, integrated it with the Wink very easily, integrated it with the uh, Echo very easily, and we're all done for today. 
So we'll see you in about a week, and the next one should be installing a GE in-wall smart switch. That's going to be a little more technical, but uh, please go ahead and click subscribe and click like. And if you have any questions uh, or you have any comments about what we're talking about or suggestions for future videos, uh, please just go ahead and leave those in the comments below. But uh, again, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click like. Have a great day. Cheers.